right, good evening. Uh, the big coat is on because it's a chilly night uh, in February and I'm at Finsbury Park. That train departing just there is a 717 uh, going down to Moorgate, which you'll be on in a minute because uh, I'm here tonight at the invite of GTR. There's a whole bunch of people that have come out. We're going to ride a Thameslink train uh, through the core as part of their digital upgrade. We're going for a super nerdy anorak look around, cab rides, simulator, Hornsey Depot. Join us as we have some fun overnight. Yes, as part of the East Coast Digital Program, the Northern City Line branch is switching to ETCS mode. That's the European Train Control System. Initially, that'll just be between Moorgate and Finsbury Park at first, but will eventually go much further. And drivers will need to be retrained at Hornsey Depot, so we'll pop in there later to take a look at their simulators. But we'll just take a quick ride through the Thameslink core first on a Class 700, which already uses ETCS in conjunction with an ATO system. Uh, we're just uh, arranging to go into the cab. Phil from Modern Railways, his Phil is here. And we're just going to have a quick sneaky ride. Uh, are we going to East Corridor or London Bridge? London Bridge. We're going to ride. Let's get some uh, shots of the train in action. Uh, ATO yeah, through to London Bridge. In the cab on the Thames Inc. Class 700, our driver Jim takes us through how ETCS works. It's all done using in-cab signalling. And remember, you can be in ETCS mode, but not be using ATO. Automatic driving of the train is a separate system, and you can drive using ETCS in manual. So what happens as we enter Canal? So you see here, we've got the lease group coming up. So just after this uh, signal, we'll get a flashing yellow indication. And then at that cab board is when we're transitioning to level two. Now we're in ETCS level two. So now this, what this is telling us, this is our position. And that's effectively where our red signal is. So we've got 300 meters. So that's all in meters. And you see distance, distance to target bar here is telling you in tens of meters as it's dropping down effectively where you are. But you're still driving at the moment, so we're not ATO. No, we're not in ATO, so it's manual. So you, are you doing ATO on this run at all? You're not. Um, yeah, can do ATO. ATO doesn't kick in until St Pancras, right? Uh, it kicks in just after this uh, banner repeater. Yeah. So, but we don't take here ATO in a braking curve uh, when we're coming up to a red signal. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah. It's just a safety practice. That's all. So you can see ATO is being offered. Is that, got, is that the yellow flashing? Yeah, yellow flashing light. There's ATO. But because we're going, to, we're in a braking curve towards a red signal. We don't do that. So we can see ahead of us, effectively, is the train for the reason why we're being held. Hello, St Pancras. This is it, we're here. At St Pancras, like all other core stations though, the doors do open automatically. Passengers don't have to press a button to operate them. The doors open automatically regardless of yep. the ETCS, don't they? So yeah, so, um, no. so if you're not in ETCS, you're driving manually. Yeah. As soon as you release the doors, then that, all the doors are released and then open. Oh, I see, oh yeah. If they've not got ATO engaged, even with ETCS, yeah. you still release the doors. Right. But when you do release the doors, as long as you've stopped in the right stopping window, yeah. then uh, they'll all be released and fully open. And pretty soon, we're at London Bridge. We've stopped at London Bridge to uh, get a little hot drink coffee. Chatting to Jim uh, off the camera, because I said to him as we accelerated out the station, sort of how fast it was, because it's all computer controlled. He said, yes, but it's, it's more unnerving the first few times that the train brakes by itself, because the train knows exactly when to brake. So it brakes later than what a driver would. So there's a moment where he felt like, hang on, I'd have braked by now, but then the train just kicks in and does it perfectly and pulls up at the red signal. So he says the first few times that happens, that's a, that's a bit weird. Anyway, uh, we're having our drinks, and then we're heading up to uh, Depot. Hornsey yeah. Depot is where around 200 of GTR's 700 drivers have been trained so far. It'll take two more years yet to get everyone up to speed. Phil, you're going to you have a go at the simulator? Yes. Okay, can I film you on the simulator? It's only because you want me to mess it up. I do it? want you to mess it up so we can all just you know, have a little chuckle at getting it wrong. Okay. Here's Phil on the simulator. <laughs> Phil has a go driving the simulator under conventional signals mode, and then they switch it up and change it so that he's driving without line side signals and is all in ETCS. Remember that the Northern City line does not and will not use ATO mode though. It's a what? You're in a class 377? Yeah. yeah. Have they got the old 365s? Oh, no. I don't think so. But they've probably got the old software for the 365s. 
Right, do you say there's a trap coming up? There is, yeah. The feedback from the GTR drivers so far say that it's a real culture change at first, but ultimately they do prefer it and it's safer. And again, a reminder that this is all being done as part of the wider East Coast digital program of which the Northern City Line rollout is a part of. So ETCS is being installed on Moorgate because it's part of the East Coast main line. It's part of the, as a quirk of the way the uh, routes and regions are split up, it's managed by the East Coast route. It's the perfect location on the East Coast route to try this technology out, to learn how to roll it out and to make sure we get it right for this so we can uh, roll it on to the main part of the East Coast Main Line. At the moment, the ETCS trackside technology is only planned to be rolled out from King's Cross up to north of Peterborough, Stoke Tunnels. Potentially, we will go further, but there's no plans in place at the moment. That takes place between now and 2030. And as Phil's driving goes off without mishap, that means we can go and ride a 717 for real in test ETCS mode. All right, I love it. I've never had a forklift truck in one of my videos before, but now we have. We're getting onto this uh, 717 here. It appears to be 717002, and we're going for. Uh, is it coupled up? Is it? That's just. It's one six car unit, right? One six car unit. Yeah. That's what I remember, and uh, we'll drive it down into Moorgate. The, uh, the non dot matrix is saying not in service, which is correct, and we're heading down the front for the cab. Definitely not in I don't know who's going to drive it. We'll find out when we get there. But it's, uh, it's gone half midnight. Regular passenger services have ceased for the day. And we're going to do a couple of trips out the depot, down the tunnel. Get to go through Essex Road at like 1am in the morning. That'll just be spooky in itself. We've got a DMI mirror recording there that you can watch. I can take you one by one, escort you into the cab. I spoke to Howard, the driver, and he's happy to answer questions whilst he's driving and stuff. Uh, we're, uh, we're in the tunnel section. Was that Essex Road? With, I will get in the cab in a second. Before we do, uh, a nice man called Matt, hi Matt, whose Hello. job title is on screen now, uh, has seen some of my previous videos and really liked the bit years ago where I got out my pens and paper and we sort of drew a map was it? I was with my friend Dave, sort of of the Thameslink Court. So, in honour of that, you've brought a, a white pad flip chart. Yeah, just fresh out of the training school. And, yeah. and some coloured pens. And you're going to draw me what, Matt? What are we going to draw? So, I'm going to draw you sort of the, the plan for ETCS and GTR. Oh, this is amazing. Like the with, past and the future. With your pens. You've got the Thameslink Court to London Bridge, LDG, there. Uh, and you've got that going through to Kentish Town, which I don't actually know the station code for, so I won't put it. <laughs> um, but then it goes off, uh, you've got St Pancras there, and you've got uh, Blackfriars down there. So, ETCS is sort of active for all of this section down here, and that's also got ATO, Automatic Train Operation. Uh, what we're now doing on the Northern City Line is we are uh, on an ETCS train now. Have you used a, a different colour for the different We're line? A different colour, red for the, for the Northern stuff. City Line. <laughs> and that comes down from Finsbury Park down to Moorgate. Uh, so that is just ETCS uh, with the Class 717s. It's the Class 700s on the Thames Inc. Core. What we're doing next... Is this, is this the third colour this pen? This is the third colour this pen. This is very exciting. And this is uh, well into Hitchin, which is up here. So uh, you've got Wellin down here, which is... Oh, I think that's Wellin Garden City anyway. Uh, you've got Hitchin up here. And we're doing ETCS for this area here, so it comes off there. You've also got a line coming in there from the Hartford Loop. Uh, so we're putting ETCS there, working with all the other operators, NAR, Grand Central, DB, Schenker as well on the cargo side. And then um, you've also got Tornado, the steam train that's getting fitted um, with ETCS. They're fitting a steam train with the ECTS? Yes. Way uh, no. And a Deltic as well. That's so, amazing. Uh, it's, that's very exciting because everything in that area uh, has got to be fitted with the ETCS. Um, so we can train all the drivers on that section. Once we've got all the drivers trained across all the operators, we then go back and start taking away the signals and all the other bits to join all of that up together down to King's Cross, down there. 
and all the way up to off off the I've run out of paper, um, <laughs> but all the way up to uh, the t near to near to Grantham, north of Peterborough, uh, and out towards Royston uh, okay. and Cambridge. It's just one question: by what year? Uh, so 2029 is the current aim. And once that was going on, we got to Moorgate. What time is it? What time is it? Uh, you know, there's it's, a uh, 0114. It's quarter past one in the morning. There's that famous uh, jam song, Down in a Tube Station at Midnight. This is down in the northern city line at 1.15am. I love it. And then it's time to go chat to our driver, Howard, who's operating the Class 717 in ETCS mode. So we're in... We're in level ETCS at the moment, level two, but the mode we're currently driving to is on-site rather than full supervision. So that's why we haven't got a planning area. We'll step up when we get going in. in the tunnel or just after the platform? Sure, let me just stop here if I need to do a power change over. So when we when we when we did our shunt move across the points at Drayton Park, the mode we were in ETCS level two, but the mode we were in was on site, therefore we didn't have a planning area. And until the until the train crosses over a couple of Belize's to get its true positional report so it knows exactly where it is, once it's done that, that's when it steps up and we're now in full supervision mode where we've got a planning area telling us how far we can move and we've got a speed speed hook here telling us maximum speed. So currently our maximum speed is, is shown at 30 miles an hour and we've got a movement authority, an MA of around 3,000 metres just under where I know I'm safe to, safe to drive to until I've got an end of authority. What is the line speed of the tunnels along here? Uh, for the majority of it, we have slight changes depending on if you're up and down direction, but broad brush it's a 30 mile an hour line between Drayton Park and Moorgate, drops down to 10 miles an hour just before Moorgate, and in the down direction we, we, have a, we have a speed change down to 25 miles an hour through Essex Road. That as a whole is 30 miles an hour in. So there is, at the moment there are still regular aspect signals out there, like there's a green one approaching now. That's right, we're, we're, we're currently on the hybrid set, hybrid part, whilst training is, whilst training is happening we're going to, we, we're running what we call an overlay, so we've got a mixture of signals and ETCS and, and this enables us to complete driver training where some drivers are trained and some aren't and so some can carry on using traditional line side signals whilst those that are trained will be will working straight to ETCS and that will be, I mean that's the, that's, that's the uh, best choice because it's a class A safety system so as soon as you train it's going to be compulsory to use ETCS but whilst that whilst we're in that sort of crossover section between drivers training etc we've, we've got the ability to use both. The ETCS system will allow trains to run closer together safely allowing increased capacity on the railway and with no physical signals on the track to go wrong and with better train management this should reduce delays too as well as allowing the service to be recovered more quickly when things do go wrong. It's, uh, it's gone 2am, we're all very tired. I think we're just approaching uh, maybe hybrid Islington on the northbound. Uh, it's been fascinating learning about uh, a little bit of ATO and ECTS on the Thames and Corbett here on the Moorgate and beyond up the east coast as part of the digital programme. Very tired. Uh, thanks to DTR and everyone for having us. Press subscribe. See you soon. Bye.